Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CG Hub video. Today we will make this character effects in Unreal Engine 5.5 and this will be from scratch step by step. So let's dive in and create this video. But before that, you have to subscribe my channel. Make sure you like if you like and comment and share and also do me a favor. Just go to my YouTube channel, click on this link and then you'll find this page. You can just contribute something and if you don't like that if you want my files you can go to store or go to my fact or go to my patreon and also i have made a custom game in fact uh, in fortnite this which i play this is the code if you want to play it has lots of vfx that i created so you can also play this and check and give me feedback so there are lots of things you can do for me when i'm making tutorials for you for free so let's start this so let's start this and I have this map with this animated character basically I have this sequencer and the character is here what you have to do just right click go to cinematic take a sequencer open it drag your animation here and you have this start to just increase some frames maybe although this is loopable so but I'll use the full animation at least yeah you can do some lighting also on it but let's just add some effects and let me just rotate it this angle okay so first thing i will do is i'll make a material for it cool material that i can play with so let's make a material m character effects and basically i just select this character from b and we can preview that here so you can see although we can also use just a sphere so let's just use a sphere so basically what i'll do uh let's uh let's make uh let's add a fill nail first and add it on the emissive so basically if i preview this is my printer and you can just decrease this and use the power to control if you just want this on the edges like this you can increase it even more if you want like this so if i just stop and hit apply so you have this and you can just drag it in on this character Or you can just drag it here both material so this is what you have and I want to make something that like that's panning on it so you can use a noise texture for that so let's say you can if your character has a good UV you can use texture if not you can also use this noise which is 3d so if you preview it this is how it looks and you can decrease the size and you can also make some settings like I want Vornoi and I don't want that much of levels of detailing so if I decrease that detailing will be removed you can make it even burn if you want like this I think to, I don't want turbulence so is enough and now I can do the power again. And you can also pan it. So for pan, what you can do, take a weld position and add time, multiply, revector because I just want this to go up. So I just want to use the Z axis and connect it here. And now it will pan. And if it's very slow, you can just multiply the time with like 50, depending and see it's going down. So we can just make this minus one, so it will go up. And let's just try to add it on here. So what I'll do, I'll first multiply it with maybe 
I like purple is dark color. I will multiply and then add it here. So basically, we will have a funnel and then we are adding this, or we can just add these together and then multiply. So funnel will also take the color of that that purple color actually. So this is what we have now and let's save again and this is how it looks looks cool but i want for nail to be more brighter so for the free nail here i will just multiply it with maybe five so it is five times brighter you can see that and for this i want little variation in the color so what i'll do Basically, if I instead of multiply, take the LURP and on the white part, I want the purple and on the black part, here, on the black part, I want like more like blue. So it's a purple and blue combination if I preview. And now again, I will multiply it so that black part will also remove. So this blue color will just give you the kind of edge. Oh, what I am doing? I don't want this. This should be multiplied with this. See? So I'll just save it again. And now we have something. We have something. looks fine but you can for the noise i will increase it so there will be much visibility in that okay so for now this is i think this is okay now we can add some effect in it and this edges i don't want that to be that much of bright maybe just two and the save and now yeah this one is cool and now I, I want to add some effect on it so let's make a material for this effect or let's just take a niagara first and i'll call it ns vector effect and i'll just take the fountain and remove the velocity remove the spare location remove the gravity and i'll take the skeletal mesh location and here you can just choose parent so when i'll make the this child of that character it will automatically take then here in the sampling i don't want bonds i want surface triangles and that's it for now so i'll just save it and just drag it into the sequencer and i'll take niagara component and i'll take the life cycle and also make this desired edge then i will attach this with the character and i'll just choose none and see the particle spawning on the surface of the character of the character now we can add our material on it so let's save it and take a material and i'll take swirl i'll make a swirl effect so for that let's let's take a noise texture maybe i'll take this aura texture i have and take a radial exponent multiply these together by preview this is what it is and i want to like fill it so for that let's take custom custom what i'm doing custom rotator and if i connect this and texture coordinate and if i connect here 0.5 so basically 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 is center and then if i take that time so this is basically rotating it 
and I don't want to rotate it uh, like in a loop. I just want to twist it as well it. So what I'll do if I'll take a radial again and connect that radial here in the angle. So depending on that black and white thing. So where's the black is just start twisting it and where is the white is not. So it's making this kind of thing. And we can also decrease the density like one. So it is cool. And we can also make the density one for this one or just use the same for both. Okay. So this is cool. And if you want to like animate it, you can also do that. So you want to animate it. So I'll just take a, I'll just take a multiplier. And if this multiplier is less than one, it will decrease that distortion. And if this is zero, there will be no start of that. So cool. I just want to take a dynamic parameter, connect this. So this is basically 12. Okay. And I'll take the particle color, just connect this here and multiply this. Actually, multiply this and then also put the alpha. I think I'm too fast, uh, but you can just you can just pause and check what I'm doing. Because lots of my subscribers say that you make videos very fast. Sometimes we don't understand what are you doing. But actually, it's actually I have created lots of effects. So if you go to my YouTube channel here, see see how. So three thousand videos, and there are lots of other things I make that I don't upload. So. I have created so many effects, so that's why I just work really fast. So this is I just try to keep this video slow. So basically, you have this now. And what I'll do, this is transparent, perfect. So I'll just save it for now. And then I'll just change that material with this and take the dynamic parameter. And this is zero. Let it be for now. I'll just make it one and I'll want to change the size maybe 50, 40. I don't want this. Basically, you have this and already looking cool. And I want this in two colors. Basically, I will use actually purple color. And then I want to make variation of range like I want some really black like minus one to one. So you'll see some are black. And let's also change the opacity. It looks very soft. So maybe some has harder opacity, maybe even more, maybe 20. So really hard, cool. And then this thing, you can animate it, of course, 0 to 1 if you want. So if I animate it 0 to 1, and let's play here. See? And then I will add a fade in, fade out. And then I will add a. You can also preview it here, so you don't have to again and again check the viewport. I'll just select the character and select the skeleton, and here just choose that character here. So now you can see what is happening actually. So I will add gravity, but positive maybe 30. So this will go up maybe 40. And I also use warm up, so from the very first frame, it already going up. Spawn rate maybe less, maybe thirty. And size I want little smaller in starting maybe point five. Good. And they are cutting, they are clipping through the character. So you just need a def fit. Just use that here. And just save again. Cool. And if these effect going behind the character, then you can use camera offset, maybe like 50. It depends on the distance and looks cool already 
and i want to also dissolve these so what i'll do i'm distorting it and i'll just take this one more time here and i will actually take the i'll just subtract and then multiply at the very end and just it will go here you can also connect it before it or here or anywhere before the opacity so i'll just connect in there and this is like dissolve save and in the dynamic parameter if i see if i refresh let me save again sometime it takes time so if i now let me just refresh it is dissolved now and if i take this it should go 0 to 1 and not 0 but actually minus 1 to 1 now they are going up and dissolving and you can also make this value higher still value looks cool and i will just make dissolve value little like this they are now supposed to dissolve from the very starting i think this looks cool you can also add this velocity on that direction so they are going backwards so let me check not this actually yeah looks cool looks cool you, for just fun you can just duplicate this and in this one what i'll do i will not swell it that much maybe just 0.5 and this is dissolving i'll make the life maybe 1 and 0.5 and just to just to showcase i am increasing the spawn rate and making it even smaller and life maybe 0.6.3 and i'll increase this velocity maybe 100 100 so they are quick and fast and with that we have the bigger one so i think this looks cool and you learn something new in the material and all so so that's it you can also just duplicate it you can use different material although you if you want let's say i don't want this uh, swell and let's make the life higher maybe 1.5 and 1 going far and i'll just make this velocity aligned and i'll take the size by speed maybe 10 and maybe this one maybe 20 and 10 and this thing should be actually like this and then i'll use curl noise basically like you make embers for the fire i just want that so there's curl noise there's everything going on and should be a little small, small, maybe, maybe just five and one. Oh, one, sorry. And you can also make this GPU if you are really using so many particles. So you can use GPU, and then you have to use fixed bound. And let's make this like five hundred for just now. I'll use the alpha a little more high so they are they should be visible properly and now we can on this and this and the size also should go down instead of going up for this and the camera offset maybe I'll just use 20 for it so they, they should just visible there And now i think this looks fine i don't want to add much thing in it this look fine so i'll just finish it here 
and i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning bye bye